What's up party people, Android Stud here and I'm back with the Essential phone. And today Essential has sent out a camera update for their app on the Google Play Store. And it's supposed to be a little bit of a change in the design of it. So let's take a look first at the camera app here. I have it here on the bottom, open it up. Obviously you could open it up, take a picture on auto. You also have portrait. You can take a picture there. You also have mono. You have slow-mo for video. You want to do that. And then if you open it up here, you have a couple options here at the top. You have the settings, you have flash, you have auto HDR, HD video. Then you can flip it back and forth from the rear camera. What's up, buddy people? To the, to the front camera. So, and the front camera has 4K video, by the way, which is awesome. So if you go into the Play Store, I'm going to show you how to get this update on your Essential phone. You go here to the Google Play Store, type in Essential Camera. There I see I have an update. It says, what's new? We gave the camera facelift. The new icons make it easy to see and switch between photos and videos and their dedicated modes. Goodbye monochrome, hello black and white. We renamed mono mode to something a bit more familiar. New name, same awesome pictures. Tinkered under the hood to improve stability and performance. The stuff you don't see that helps you enjoy the app even more. And one of the things that about the essential phone that I always said is their camera app just needs improvement. It's just, it's just not very, you know, like a Samsung or like a iPhone where the camera app is just a little bit more laid out a little better. This is a little more funky so you see how this is mono now you're gonna see it's gonna say black and white now so we're gonna go ahead and up do the camera update real fast let's go in here hit update and you know the camera has improved on the essential phone the portrait mode is really good you also have the regular still pictures in daytime low light still a little bit of a struggle also opening up the camera app at times has been a little buggy um, but it has gotten better. It's not as laggy, takes quicker pictures. They have sent a lot of camera updates, but this is the newest one that deals with the design and some stability. So hopefully this hope helps out some of the lag, some of the stability issues that the essential camera app has had in the past. So go ahead and open it up and we're going to take a look here. You have portrait. Oh, wow. Portrait mode is right off the jump. It's the first feature before it was auto portrait then mono so now you get you get you get three you get three features here so if we go out of the app so now when you open up the central camera app oh okay there's photo there's portrait is first photo second and then you get black and white so not a bad feature so let's go back out again and photos in the middle so if you want to go to portrait you go to the left take your little portrait shot boom you want to take a regular photo boom okay not bad not the quickest not the slowest so I just took a few shots here as you could see there there so that's the black and white I guess and there's a yeah, you can't tell because my desk is black but you get the picture so now when you go to video you get black and white video, you get regular video, and then you get slow-mo. So they did tweak the UI just a little bit, a subtle change. Now, instead of everything being in one setup, when you open up the app, now it's photos. If you want, you want photo, you take a photo there. It's not auto anymore. It's photo. If you want to do portrait, you select portrait. And then if you want mono or black and white, you can select black and white. And now if you go into video, you have video or slow-mo. And then when you go into video, you're also going to have your, you know, your flash, your HD here. You go 60 frames per second. As you see there, you can go 4K or you could just go regular, which is 30 frames per second. So let's go back out to the camera here. Let's deal with the front facing camera. Let's see. Same thing. You get portrait right there well you don't get portrait on the front facing camera only on the rear and then uh 
I don't know if the front, no, the front, the front only takes pictures. So, but if you want to go to video here, obviously you could do HD or 4K. So, which I love about the essential phones, you could do 4K video on the front facing camera, which is excellent. Now, no, so they, they improved it. They just laid it out a little better. Um, so I'm hoping that the, the camera works a little, a uh, little more quicker and snappier than it has in the past. Let me put up the volume. So, oh, let's take a picture. Sorry, my bad. Let me uh, put up the volume here. Um, well, I don't have the shutter speed on. If we go here to shutters, shutter sounds. Yeah, I'm not digging the shutter sounds either, but. And you go to portrait. Yeah, I don't know why the shutter sound is not on. I keep taking pictures because the, the volume button works as a, uh, there we go. Now you're going to hear that shutter. So now we take a picture. Okay. A little bit of, just a tad of a lag. There's a portrait. Portrait takes a little longer to process. So that's understandable because it's doing the software for the portrait mode and then black and white, black and white, uh, Pictures have a lot of detail, by the way. So if you guys want to get good detail, you could take that black and white. But that's it, man. Uh, the camera update for the Essential Phone. You can get it through the Google Play Store. Updates it, lays out the UI a little better between photo and video. Also, uh, black uh, mono is no longer mono, it's black and white. And also you get your photo in the middle and portrait to the left and you can slide. So. Nice little update on the essential phone. I'm running Android P. If you want to check out that video, I have it on my channel. See how it runs, how smooth. Also how to take a screenshot, all kinds of cool things. So um, just keep following the channel, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. Like this video. Leave me a comment or question below. I'll try to answer the best I can, man. I've been, I've been maturing with this phone since its release. I'm the one channel that has kept up with it. So if you need to know anything about the essential phone, you're going to catch it right here. You could also follow me on Twitter at Android Stud, Instagram, Facebook, and Google+. Thanks for watching, man. New update, camera update for the Essential Phone.